Hello everyone, Nathan Holstein from Web City Junior High. I'm here to give you some tips about how to have a successful drop-off at the junior high. Some of you are well versed in this. You have 8th graders and you've dropped them off all last year. So this will be a reminder for you. For some of you who have 7th graders, this will be your first attempt at dropping your kid off and we'd like it to be a good one. So let me give you some advice. Number one, make sure your student has everything that they need in their lap at the time you're ready to drop them off. It gets pretty difficult when they're having to pick up their bag out of the back seat or finish their breakfast or whatever it may be. Let's try to get that all done before pulling up onto the parking lot. Number two, once you enter the parking lot and you're on the blacktop, anytime your vehicle comes to a complete stop, please let your student out. Yes, there will be a line of cars that will be roughly six to eight car lengths long. You do not have to wait until you are the very first person in line. That actually causes a bit of a traffic jam and causes us to be delayed in getting the students in. So, as you pull in, once your vehicle comes to a complete stop, let them out and they will walk into the, into the building and we'll help them down, find their way from there. Additionally, please make sure your student has all the information they're going to need from you for the day. Once you drop your student off, that is not the time to give them the daily itinerary about what they're going to do before, after, and while they're at school. That needs to happen while you are in the drop-off line. Also, when you're in the drop-off line, please stay off of your phone. Uh, it is tempting in the world that we are in when we are so connected to want to make sure that we respond to every text and phone call. However, the drop-off line is probably the least, uh, least productive place to do that. We want to make sure that your cars are moving when they're supposed to be moving and that you're not hitting things like, you know, students. That would not be good. When you go to drop the kids off, when you come in from the south end of the drop-off line or the north end of the drop-off line, what you will notice is there will be an individual out on the street with a, with a pole that has a stop and a go sign on it. That individual will be me. I am responsible for making sure the lines move. I will make sure the lines are going as fast as possible. On the first day, it's going to take forever, guys. It's everyone trying to figure it out for the first time. So let's do our best to show each other some grace and be patient. I will try to get that line moving as quickly as possible. I promise you that. We do have two drop-off lines. There is one right next to the school, and there's one on the opposite side of that, just to the north of the first line. When I signal you to go in, find the line that is the shortest. I'll try to help you out by pointing to one line or the other, so have your eyes up when you see me. I'll point where to go, and then once again, once your vehicle comes to a complete stop, please let your student out. This is going to be a great school year. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, additionally, once you pull off and you have dropped your student off and you go to leave the parking lot, you must turn right. You must turn to the right. Please do not try to turn to the left. There will be plenty of barricades there to make sure that you don't turn to the left, but please make sure that you turn to the right. That is for the flow of traffic. We have been asked to do that by uh, multiple different individuals that are gonna keep that flow of traffic going in that direction. Also, uh, make sure that you don't drop off on the streets. Uh, please don't drop off on the streets. We started doing that towards the end of last year. Uh, towards the beginning of the school year, we're gonna try not to do that because it's gonna be stopping traffic a little bit too much. So please drop them off at the drop off. Um, if you have a large vehicle or if you are pulling a trailer of some sort, please make sure that when you go to the drop off that you drop off your student before you actually get onto the parking lot if your vehicle is not able to get into the parking lot. I understand that some parents have to be dropping their kids off on the way to, to work. So whether you have a construction trailer or something of that nature, make sure to drop your student off before they actually pull into the drop off line. That is okay, I understand there are some outlying things that need to take place. Uh, we're going to attach a video to the end of this that kind of demonstrates a few of the things we hope that you do and that you don't do. So hey, did you eat breakfast today? No. Are you serious? Oh my gosh, luckily, okay, I had a bowl over here on the side under my seat. I have some cereal. Oh, let me see that. Um, oh, 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 all I have is a fork. That's it. There you go. That's what I, you... I don't want cereal. Okay, well that's fine. Okay, I got a cereal bar, or I got chocolate muffins. Um, oh, I hope no cars are coming. Okay, I've got a pop tart. Um, 
I've got, oh, I've got these cookies and yeah, I can't do that. to be in that number one spot there's only one car left okay hold on then we well, can't get out right here. here honey this is safety first and I have to get you in that first spot the number one spot you know why baby because you're my number one I love you okay 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 I'm here I'm where I'm supposed to be okay you have a great day I love you I'll try to all this I, I love you baby have a good day okay <laughs> I was trying to check my Insta. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Everybody knows not to wear that after Labor Day. Oh, hold on. I'm looking at something. Somebody had a major fashion crisis. Hold on, okay? Just hold on. Oh, 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 oh. oh gosh, that went into the black hole. I, I'm never going to get that back. I'm going to have to go to the phone. Hey, what did you say? We put some good jams on today to listen to. Back to life, hey, that's how we 